Hi, this is Virginia Gordon, and you're listening to The Vibe Podcast. We are faith-based with an emphasis on wellness. We look to bridge the generation gap with love that empowers. Get comfortable with being uncomfortable. It's this that is the true testament to change. Hey guys, James Curry here with Virginia Inge Gordon. And like we told you in our last podcast, we've changed now. We are now Vibe the Pod. We're going to talk about our vibe. So you want to go ahead and (laughs) tell about our vibe? Sure, sure. So James and I decided we're going to get together and we're just going to initially build the vibe. Um, We're going to share why we're doing this. We're going to kind of give you a layout as far as why it makes sense to do this and we are going to hopefully be a source of encouragement for you Um, we're doing this we're not doing this for the fame (laughs) or the money certainly not um we are doing this out of a place of love and we also are hopeful that we can just kind of be an open book um although I am a counselor, so I'm a licensed counselor here in Mobile, Alabama. Um, I am not your counselor, so I may share things surrounding wellness, kind of like I would a friend, but you just need to know that just because I'm sharing that doesn't mean that's exactly what it would look like if you went to counseling, because counseling is meant Primarily what I do is I listen and I seek to understand. I do a lot of less talking. Um, and it's it's all about the person. It's all about the client's beliefs, values. And as a counselor, I never impose my beliefs or my values onto them. And so counselors ethically are not supposed to do that. Um, So here on this platform, um, I just wanted to kind of differentiate that because this is kind of evolving and we both have a strong faith. Um, We're both Christians. And so this is evolving into a faith-based podcast. Um, So, you know, that's just something that, that we both have found helps our wellness Mm -hmm. and we really find an intersection between well-being mental health and spirituality and so we just want to be able to be voices of support because it's kind of hard to navigate life well these days um we care about the young people and we feel like we have something to say what do you think james uh yeah we do and you know our our vibe there's three of us, right? There there's, are. There's Trey also too. And like we mentioned before, he's a recent high school graduate. Yeah. He's starting college. And it was kind of his idea to start this college ministry at mm-hmm. Stillwater Church in Sarah Land. Yeah. And how to connect with people that feel lost. And that that's kind of where our calling is too. I mean, we're spiritual beings mm-hmm. and we're called to to the lost to the hurting, to be able to, to guide them to a better place, yeah. whether that's, you know, a church home that they need or a better environment or, you know, just a, a new set of friends or someone else to talk to. But, but our vibe, you know, I'll keep going back to that. Our vibe is, is to help you. How, however that is, uh, you know, yeah. we, we want to guide you and we want to enable you um, to give you the tools. I mean, you have three people with very unique perspectives, different areas where they are in life. Trey, recent high school graduate, not married, no children, Virginia married, young children, myself, not married, but with an adult child. So, you you know, you get, you get three different perspectives all in the same package. Yeah. Uh, And I think from our combined life experiences, even Trey, he's so wise beyond his years at 18, you get such a unique perspective from the three of us. 
Right, and that unity is something that we think should be modeled because we don't need a big generation gap. We, we want unity among the generations and it can be hard to achieve that, especially these days. I mean, every generation it's hard. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that's what I heard Trey saying last episode when he was introducing himself, um, that we need a continuum. We don't just need middle-aged giving advice to college kids. We need a continuum and, and to build that bridge and support people. And we are very excited about Trey, aren't we? Oh, yeah. We're very yeah. excited. Yeah, it, and it's reciprocal, too. You know, it, as much as he learns from me yep. and from you, mm -hmm. we learn from him. Very much. And, very much. you know, like we established already, the three of us, we're spiritual beings. And we are always constantly receiving messaging. And... You know, what we want is to be able to, to help someone and empower them to be their best selves. Right. We um, all want that. Yeah, we, we do. And, you know, with us being Christian based and having a spiritual background, you know, of course, we want to push people, obviously, towards the first answer would be biblical, biblical reasons and biblical answers. But sometimes People aren't on the same level that we are spiritually, and they're still seeking. So it's all right if you're not on that same level, because there are other approaches. Like Virginia said, she is a licensed counselor, and she does speak to a lot of different people. So it's not necessarily spirituality, but it is helping people. We know for the three of us that our spirituality has helped us, and we've helped be able to guide people in that perspective. Right. And so I think that this podcast is for the people that are seeking, you know, it's for the people that are hungry for knowledge, for wisdom. And, you know, James and I, we we go pretty far back <laughs> and yeah. we feel that we sharpen each other. You know, when you sit down with someone and you're fully present and you're having meaningful conversation where you're looking to just support each other that's going to be good for you. You know, that's going to be good for your brain. That's going to be good for your soul. And that's kind of what this podcast is all about, isn't it? It is. You know, you mentioned that, isn't it? Isn't it Proverbs twenty-seven seventeen? As iron sharpens iron, one person sharpens another. Uh, mm. Someone may have to, you know, biblically fact check me on that. But I think it is Proverbs twenty-seven seventeen, And it's, it's, it's something that... I keep going back to even the very first time that you and I met and we spoke is how how we could sharpen each other. And I think that that is true for just really anyone. How can you pour into someone else? How can you invest into someone else? How can you sharpen someone else? I mean, iron is a very hard surface and it takes another hard surface to be able to make the friction possible to make it sh even sharper, to refine it, to make the edges as sharp as possible. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, that's what we hope to do. And that's what our vibe is, is to be able to sharpen you, to bring you into focus, either to change your perspective on how you see life or maybe to get out of your comfort level. Because a, a lot of times, you know, we find ourselves, even as adults, stuck in our own comfort level. Yeah, and you know what? Stuck in our own thoughts, in our own head of what we don't have and what we want and what we feel like other people have and that we don't have. My career was actually built upon positive psychology. And one of the biggest tenets of it is when you start focusing on a purpose beyond yourself, when you start trying to help people beyond you, you start reducing symptoms of distress like depression and anxiety. So that might look like, all right, you got broken up with, it really, really sucked. <laughs> Excuse my French, I guess. Is that French? I, I don't know, okay. Um, <laughs> It was very painful. You felt, you know, the worst, one of the worst feelings we have on this planet of rejection. And so what do you do? 
you think to yourself, I'm going to stop focusing on me and all that I don't like about life right now. And I'm going to join a soup kitchen <laughs> and I'm going to start serving people. I'm going to start getting with people and, and, and seeing that there's, there's people that can benefit from what I have to offer them. And then next thing you know, you're feeling better. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so that's kind of what we're about too, is helping people reframe. Um, there's so much out there. There's so much media and we want to be one more group that's positive and maybe that will connect with people maybe here on the, you know, in, in Mobile, wherever, or, or beyond. I'm mm -hmm. hopeful that we are relatable and that this is something that's life giving for you. Cause, cause what I love to exp express to clients too is, okay, so you might not have it in you to go to the gym to help your mental health, but can you just press play? Can you just press play on a podcast or something like that, that is supportive and encouraging to you? And that's sometimes where you should mm -hmm. start, you know? And you know, we're, the three of us, we're, we're not infallible. We oh, have, no. our, we have our own faults. And, and as, as we go along in the podcast, we'll share our own struggles with you. Yep. And just like Virginia alluded to just a moment ago, um, my struggle is contentment, just being content with the situation right now. And she talked about it a little bit and we talked about it a little bit later, but are you content? Are you content where you are in life right now? Are you okay with your, where, where you find yourself? Yeah, you know, because, that's a big struggle yeah, for a lot of people. Not being content derives, you know, it, it steals your joy. It steals your happiness. So you have to be content in all situations and knowing that your situation will improve and it will change. Uh, but as we go along with Vibe the Pod, uh, we'll also be supported by Trey, who will have this ministry uh, on a, a weeknight. We're not sure of the night yet. I believe it's a Thursday night at Stillwater, uh, where he'll be actually preaching and doing some connection also to through his college ministry. So, you know, there'll be a place to, to listen, but there'll also be a place to, to physically go to, to get fed, to get that in person, yeah. you know, and it's, you know, we don't want the disconnection to be that you just listen to us. We want to be able to be connected with you in person, be able to speak to you, to sit with you and to talk with you. So, you know, you're not just listening to us, you're gonna actually see us and you're gonna mm -hmm. inter interact with us. And that's the way we want it to be. Yeah, and over the next couple of weeks, we're gonna basically talk about some wellness topics. One that you just shared, you know, the power of meeting face-to-face -face with people, a regular meeting where, where once a week you're meeting with people that, that support you and that you feel good vibes around. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, one one guy that I listen to, he he expresses do less social media and more social. You know, I think we all need to continue to hear oh, that. Oh yeah, that's I I needed to to hear that. Yeah. Uh even though I jettisoned social media a long time ago for that very purpose, it's still important to be reminded to to have that social inter interaction um we you know we'll go into that a little bit later on but right any any last thoughts here you know well mainly just i want to reiterate that we really feel like having trey on our team is something in in the big scheme of things that is extremely significant um you know, having the privilege of supporting a young person um, and essentially empowering them to make a difference is, is pretty amazing. It kind of mm -hmm. gives me chills. And so I just feel so much gratitude that Trey's on our team and I mm -hmm. feel like it'll also help us meet younger people kind of where they are and mm -hmm. have his perspective and his life experience. and. And just also model that us, we're older, um, 
but we're curious, you know, we're curious what the young people have to say. Mm -hmm. We're curious what their questions are. Um, we're not threatened by their doubts um, or their questioning. If anything, it's the most helpful for us as adults to seek to understand and to be curious. So we know we make a great team, don't we? Yeah, of course. <laughs> We've been doing it for many years. Yep. Many, many yep. years. Uh, James and I go way back uh, to our former days at the health department doing wellness series. So we are good friends and, you know, yes, this is a professional platform, but it's also kind of spiritual and personal. Um, so hopefully we've given you kind of a layout of what this is going to look like. And again, if there are topics that you want us to approach and talk about, I mean, that may range from, you know, depression, anxiety, trauma, um, disordered eating, whatever comes to mind, what you want to hear us talk about, hearing who we are and what we're about, um, please email us and we'll look to approach that first. So um, that's all I have to say. Yeah, um, you can reach out to us through our website, vibethepod.com. And, uh, you know, just your homework is to think about the things that you want to make a difference with your own life. You know, we, we can talk to you and help you along. We can hold your hand, but it's really you that is going to do the work. So think about what you want to do. Set a simple goal and what you want to achieve. And like I said, and Virginia said also too, uh, if you need to reach out to us, we're that's what we're here for. So thanks for joining in. Mm -hmm. And Trey will be back with us soon as... Uh, as soon as he gets back from army training and that's where he mm -hmm. is right now for mm -hmm. a few months so thanks again yeah and if you're someone that's just kind of tuning in um and is not up for homework you know that that's okay too because <laughs> <laughs> we we meet people where they are you know and i think if this resonates with you then continue press and play and we hope to be there for you and check out the previous podcast episodes too mm -hmm. when we were my teen pod uh, a lot of great content there that is still applicable right absolutely all right guys well i think that's a wrap we'll see you next time thanks for tuning in bye <laughs>